welcome as you can see tips another tip series for another new game which i very much enjoy you're gonna enjoy it as well because if you don't it's gonna end badly so please like the game this video is gonna be kind of split it into two the start is gonna be tips and the end is gonna be so a showcase for some cool stuff i've made like custom commands custom workers doing stuff which i very much enjoy and think they help you a lot in the game Okay, just one of them helped you learn the game. The other one is just cool to show. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed. And the last tip is going to be a very interesting tip. So, wait for that. I'll see you on the next side. Okay, let's start with an easy one. The first one is simply that loot doesn't respawn in dungeons. Now, you can see the, the thing that I picked up with the thing that I left here before. Because I didn't have, of course, any inventory slots. I was full. So this is what I left here, but you can see nothing respawns, not the enemies, not the loot, all the doors are open, all the chests are open. This is how you know you actually been in the dungeon. Alright, the next one is more related to combat. Now, when you attack enemies, they don't actually stagger. So you need to be careful when you actually commit to the attack. When you go in the defensive, preserve your stamina and just keep on going. Now, in case you didn't know, resources in the world are finite. So this means a, fin a finite amount of copper, a finite amount of stone. And if you don't want to run out, because you're gonna run out, you have to have the mines. And to have the mines, you need the cores. Now, you find the cores in the dungeons. In random chests, you can find them, both the stones and the copper. Obviously, the copper is harder to find, but it's not that hard. Just run a few dungeons, you're definitely gonna find them. Most likely in the boss room, but you're definitely gonna find it. Well, if you die, don't worry, your stuff will just wait for you as long as you take and only the stuff in your inventory will be lost, your hot bar will not be lost. So as you can see, I had some wall olives in my inventory and it's gone, it's in my grave, but all the stuff in my hot bar did not change. Alright, so the very important thing I wanted to show you, you have to promise me not to tell anyone, it's very important is that you can actually jump on the fountain. It's just gonna let you float on it and you're gonna <laughs> just float, enjoy yourself. Okay, from here on out, it's gonna get way more technical. I'm just gonna start ex explaining some of the stuff I have done and it gets like a bit of coding like. So if you don't like this part, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed the video, use the tips. I'll see you in the next one, bye. Okay, if you said thank you, now it's gonna get a bit more technical as I said, so I hope you enjoy and you can share your own thought on what I'm gonna show you, see you. Okay, so my gate opener, as you can see the moment I get close, because the room, the wall is not all done, is all going over there, but he's opening the door, and when I'm going away, look, you, sp you saw him go away and close the door. That's nice. Now I go or do whatever I want. I kill all the enemies. I get loot from the dungeons. Then I come back. I wait here. And he's still going there. Oh, see? Open the door for me. Thank you very much. And I leave. He closed the door. When the wall is gonna be finished, it's gonna be way more safe. And it's only set to players. So if one of those guys come near him, he won't do anything. And he's always going back to this to the post. Like he's the guard for the city. Now let's stop him from going away. As you can see, the moment I press start, he is looping around always to check if I am with a certain distance from him. I set it to six. And if the the wall is opened, if the wall is opened, when it said tr the state is on, on for the walls mean open. So if it's not open and I'm under six or equal to six distance away then he goes to interact with the wall and then he goes back to standing near the post near the board and then again another if if I am in a higher distance than eight I give him a few more so he would let me pass the door before he close it on me so I have a bit more distance if it's close if it's equal or larger than 8 and the door is opened then close it 
Because if it's gonna be, if I'm gonna be farther away than the door and the door is open, is closed and he's gonna go to it again, he's gonna open the door and it's not good. So I have to make sure that the door is closed, is open, sorry, and I'm far away from the door. So two conditions. Sorry for the bike, again, not my usual spot. Then he's going up again and back to the post. And it's in a loop, so it's repeating. Every time I go near him, he opens, I go away, he closes. Very nice. Especially if you want to do certain other stuff, you can switch, switch it and set distance to the player with quite a few other stuff. Like you can see, you can get a lot of complicated stuff done with this, and it's very nice. I mean, this one is pretty useless. I mean, I can go and open this faster on my own, but as you can see, I can't really close it as good. And you know, we always forget, you just go, you run away, so we can close it on its own. Very nice. Okay, the sorter. This one I want you to help me because I'm not like amazing at coding. I just started learning a few days ago. Now, this chest, I'm just dumping everything here or in this chest dumping everything here. And then they have a code selected to bring each item over to the selected box. You can see we have quite a few storages right in here one for each. I can't do it like in a multi box because then I have to, if I want to get another worker to take stuff from the warehouse and put it I don't know like here for the working then he's not, it gonna know, he's not gonna know which one to take from the box and don't know how to make him pick for like specifically this potion and not the stamina potion I have no idea how to do that so if you know that's great now their code is horrible look look how many look how many I literally have him go through each item if you have every single item then else take another item else take another item and it's going through most of the items in the game right now i'm missing quite a few because i didn't have them sorted in the let's you go i didn't have like a special box from them so if i give them i didn't i didn't know where to put it so i'm gonna wait a few more a bit more until i have all everything filled up and then i'm gonna give them the rest of the instruction however what I need your help with, please, please, please let me know how I can shorten it. There is no way this is the best way to do it. Okay, I'm gonna try myself after this a bit more, but there has to be a better way to do this. There is no way this is how it's supposed to be. It has to be way faster. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. So please do help me because this takes you. You can see how long he's just staying there. He's going basically through every item, even though he has an item on him. Maybe I can give him that if you have an item then just go, but I don't know how to specifically do that for every line, for every item. Never mind. Next. Well, there is no next, Hob. That's it. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Even the most annoying stuff at the end with the coding and a bit more technical stuff. I enjoy it a lot. Very much. I'm definitely gonna make a full series on this game way more tips way more showcases for cool stuff i'm gonna make throughout this series i don't know i think i have a good amount of hours in this game <laughs> on my future so again if you enjoyed the video that's nice if you didn't oh well sorry i guess i'll see you on the next one and hopefully the next game is gonna be age of water see ya bye